morning, good morning, it's time to rise and shine. Good morning, good morning, good morning, I hope you're feeling fine. Good morning, get up, get out of bed, it's time to wake up, you sleepy head. Time to wake up, it's a brand new day, and we can't miss out on that day to decay. Get your day planned out to be at your best, and you gotta make sure you got the right back test. Wipe the sleep away, make sure you're awake, cause we don't have time for fat finger mistakes. And race your condos. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's time to rise and shine, my friends. Hope everybody's doing well. Friday before Christmas. We've got the S&Ps up 10. We've got the NASDAQ up 43. We've got Russell up 8.5. Dow is down 56. Gold up 1.3%. Silver up almost 1%. Notes and bonds green. 10-year yield down a little bit sitting at 3.861. Oil up over percent. Natty gas down a little more than 1%. Grains a little bit green. Euro in the pound a little bit green. Bitcoin slightly red. VIX at 13.77. Should be uh should be a green VIX at the open. Which will allow me to trade my AM iron condor. And I'll be doing some re-entries today as well. Had high hopes of a continuation down yesterday, but just wasn't to be, my friends. Just was not to be. Looks like we got somebody chatting on Zoom. Chris, hey, Chris, uh, do me a favor. I don't check the Zoom chat. We chat in the Zero Live chat channel in Discord. Good to have you. What's everybody doing for Christmas? Anything fun? Sticking around? Traveling? I'll be sticking around. I am taking my boys skiing right before New Year's. Bonfire on the beach. Nice. What's the weather down there right now, Dick? Sixty-five. So when it, that bonfire like that, is that just a personal thing for like you and your family? Or is that like a big community deal? Oh, wow. Nice. Market opens in 20 seconds. Looks like it'll be the 75 calls and maybe the 40 puts. 30, 35 wide, maybe. There's the bell. Seventy five calls, forty puts.
I'm going to close out this trade here. So it does conflict. My bot should start firing here shortly. For my AM ratio. SPX pushing up. Bot canceling, replacing, trying to get filled. Having a little problems. There we go. Build at 1925, and that's on the 45 puts and 80 calls. Forty-five puts and eighty calls. And let's see, what was the expected move? A little over 22. So the upper expected move at about 47.76, lower about 47.31. It's P now at 15. Russell, once again, the strongest of the bunch, up almost a full percent. Dow just went green. Gold up 1.3 percent. Oil up 1 percent. Kind of scanning through some futures here. See if there's any futures trades I want to take. I don't see anything I want to do. So what I'll do on my re-entry iron condor is, um, you know, obviously I just got in the morning one, so I don't want to just load up on basically the exact same thing. So I'll wait till a little bit this morning. If price moves around a little bit, then I'll flip on my re-entry bot, try to get a little bit more exposure throughout the day. But we will make this a uh, little bit of a quick live stream. This is the only trade that I'll that I have on my uh, on my docket to put on. So. If you're new or if there's any questions or topics or anything you guys want to cover, we can certainly do that. Just so you guys know, Dick K was trying to get out of the bet 
that he won. He was trying to get it out of me sending him barbecue. And I, I said, no, sir. No, you are getting this barbecue whether you like it or not. <laughs> Bet's a bet. Yeah, the time fly. I will be uh, closing today, obviously. So I'm going to, as I posted in my update this morning, the uh, the butterflies pretty much worthless. So that that's just going to expire. So really, I'll just let that expire and close the double diagonal. So no no rush on that. Try to squeeze as much out of that as possible. <laughs> I know, just... That's the kind of guy Dick is. Even though he won, he was trying to trying to be nice, trying to get out of it, but I can't be having that. Wooga, once the in trade steward, once the bot takes the trade, how do you pull up the screen to manage it? Yeah, so um so you just click on just I just click on the the logo here and it takes you to the dashboard and then you scroll down below that graph and it's right here. And then so I I use a trailing stop on this morning one. So every time it trails down a little bit, I'll just manually go in here and trail my trail my stop, which is not ideal, but that's how it is right now. Naughty Dog, just curious if anyone adjusts their plans for the week between Christmas Day and New Year's. Uh, I'm I'll probably I'm probably still gonna do some zero DTE. Uh, I've decided to not do any calendar spreads. So I won't be, you know, my normal load up Friday afternoon on calendar spreads. I'm going to pass on those. Even though I think Dick, Dick said uh, he did a little testing and it didn't look too bad. I'm going to, I'm just going to pass. Shut the calendars down for the year. Yeah, liquidity and SPX is, I wouldn't worry about that, Naughty Dog. I mean, the, uh, yeah, you you know, if something, something comes out, you could see some higher slippage than normal or something like that, but I don't think it's too much to worry about. Never made money on a Friday, Lissosa. All right, today's your day, buddy. Yep, Tuesday is always Tuesday. Um, I guess the only way that you would have a partial fill, Meech, would be is, you know, I usually have a couple minutes of a window for my trade to fill. So I've never had a partial fill. I mean, I've I've had partial fills, but it completed the you know the entire size that I have in there. Um. So did it? What did it get a partial fill, and then it was outside your window, and that's how it did it? Oh, you're man. Oh, you manually. Yeah, if you manually put a trade in and toss, it's not going to show up in Trade Steward. Oh. The tracking. I haven't used the tracking feature. Sorry. 
yeah, I have not, I have not dug into that much just because I use trade, uh, trader sync trade steward doesn't do anything with futures options. And I do do some of that. So I'm not going to use two tracking platforms. I would, uh, yeah, I would, I would probably dig into that tracking and trade steward more if I only traded, uh, well, and then the other thing is I, I trade with multiple brokers too. And trade steward's only connected to TA, so that doesn't work for me either. I do like how it, um, I do like kind of the, uh, summary of, you know, if you get, if you go to view bots, it shows me kind of my summary P and L, uh, which is cool just from my bot trading. So for example, at the top here, my AM ratio Wednesday, 70 minute, I've only done three of those. Only one of the three has been a winner. It's my year to date P and L on that trade. Uh, AM ratio Mondays, I've had the bots traded at five times. I've won three out of five. Uh, my AM ratio Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, which is the one I'm in right now. It's traded four of those. Three have been winners. Total P&L, 2,600 year to date. So it's kind of cool to see a little glimpse of that. JSPs, seven of eight have been winners for over 9,100. AM ratio Monday, Wednesday. And so then this is two different bots because I have two different profit targets, but shows those separately. Three for three. Quiet lunch Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Three out of five, small profit. So that's kind of cool. All green so far. S&P up 18. Yeah, gold is strong. I actually bought some gold futures early this morning when I woke up. Just from a standpoint of, I think we are going to rip through new, you know, we hit that all time high and then we just pulled back and we've hit that level. We've, we've hit that kind of all time high level. A couple different times. And it's just kind of retraced and. I think we're, I think we're going to blow through that. So it's not a day trade or anything like that. I just, I bought some futures to hold. After I saw it pop up like this, this morning. Ooh, this coffee is extra good this morning. Extra tasty. SPX all time high forty eight eighteen, currently at forty seven seventy.
Silver has not gotten back up anywhere to all time highs, which looks like it was 30. I don't know if that's all time high, but at least during this time period, hit a high of 30. 30.345. It's currently at 24. I have a, uh, I'm hitting the casino tonight. Me and 12, 12 friends are going to a uh, nice steak dinner, followed by a little casino action tonight. So that should be interesting. <laughs> uh, I like it all, Dick K. I like, uh, Play some craps, play some blackjack. I might try out your uh, Fibonacci system on the uh, roulette table. I don't know. It just depends on where the night takes me. <laughs> yeah, so if I, uh, if I don't have any money in my account to trade on Monday after Christmas, you'll know why. Tuesday. Yeah, I like I do like the craps. Seen a tiny bit of decay on our AM trade. Not too much yet. Yeah, these are all friends that I've, I mean, a couple of them I've known since seventh grade, <clears throat> buddies since middle school. Most of them are college, college buddies or friends through college buddies. Should be fun. It's a good, good group of degenerates. We have some news this morning. Oh, yeah, the consumer confidence. Can't imagine they're holding up our theta for that. Revised University of Michigan consumer sentiment, new home sales at the top of the hour. Annette, are you on the live stream? She was asking in the Butterfly channel if I'm going to make an adjustment to the uh, Jan 12 time fly, and and yeah, I will. I'm just gonna, I'll just give a little bit more time this morning before I do so. Sell put spread on pullback, question mark, question mark, double question mark. Not sure what that, are you asking me if I'm going to? Uh, didn't plan on it, no. So we've moved out of center. Close to wanting to turn on my re-entry to add a little bit more in. So 
So my re-entry is actually two different bots. So I think I will uh, turn one on. SPX up 0.37% from the open. Build at 2040. And that was on the 55 puts, 85 calls. So just shifted the strikes up a little bit from the open. Add a little bit more. Uh, yeah, Chris, I, I just, I did, I just did kind of explain it. All I'm doing is I'm just kind of using it a little bit discretionary. I'm just waiting for price to move a little bit. That's it. Nothing, nothing magic. Just want to get more exposure on today and price moved out of center, you know, so my strikes shifted up a couple. So just adding a little bit, just turn on one of them. No, it's not nothing. Nothing as specific as that. All green so far, all green. The Dow started off red, came and come to life. The Russell started off the strongest and staying strong. VIX is has been climbing all morning as the S&P is going up. Maybe they're trying to save some premium for us for power hour. Maybe the confidence from consumers will be so shaken that it causes some red. What do you guys think? We'll stay on here till after the consumer confidence and new home sales. See if anything comes from that. Highly doubtful. Excuse me. Barclays now expects Bank of BOE, Bank of England, I guess, to deliver its first rate cut of 25 basis points in May 2024 versus April of 2024, estimated previously, according to Financial Juice.
I do need to close out my gold hedgehog today. Unfortunately, with this up move, it's going to put us a little red. Would have been better to close it out yesterday, but who knew? Little tiny pullback in SPX. Ethereum up four and a half percent. A little above twenty three hundred. Couple minutes until that comes out. I'm gonna reduce my stop another buck on my AM trade. So the AM currently up almost ten percent and just a tiny bit of decay on my other one. Uh, yeah, I did, Annette, but I can repeat. I saw your question and I was, I saw, the, I saw your name on Zoom, so I, I mentioned it, but, uh, yeah, so the answer is, yeah, on the, uh, January 12th fly, I will be adding a, uh, a calendar or diagonal. I'm just giving a little bit of time this morning. I don't like to do it first thing. I like to let things shake out a little bit. So, I mean, of course, if we make a big move down, then I won't, but most likely I will. University of Michigan sentiment, actual 69.7, forecasted 69.4, whatever that means. Sounds uh sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds like the consumer sentiment is right on. Uh VIX took a little drop and then pop. A little droppy poppy. SPX coming down a tad. Did get a little bit of a volatility crush. We've got the, I'm up 20% now on the AM ratio. Uh, 
so I can reduce my stop further. It's kind of weird. Vic's kind of gapped down and then pop back up. That might be just a little bit of a bad print or something, but. All right, my friends, I'm going to jump off here. We'll be back for power hour. Hope everybody has a good rest of your day. And we'll chat with you soon. Take care. See you in power hour.